Hi everybody, my name is Holly and I live on Tynedegg Mohawk Territory and today I wanted to show you a little bit um, about how to make a pouch, um, a traditional leather pouch. I have a pattern for the pouch, um, but I wanted to show you there are other ways that you could also make your, your traditional pouch. So I have, um, I cut it out of paper um, and then I traced it onto some felt. I, you can use a hole punch, you can use ribbon instead of pieces of leather. You could use ribbon, string, twine, whatever you might have at home. I also wanted to show you that these are some of my pouches that I have. Um, my pouches may hold either tobacco, this one has tobacco in it, uh, or sage, uh, traditional medicines. Um, this one's quite simple because it's really just a big circle with holes and then it's gathered up and everything is nice and safe in there. Um, these ones are a little bit more ornamental, um, they're a little prettier, um, and I'm going to show you the pattern that I have. This one's really, really quite basic and I'm just going to start and hopefully by the end you'll see what we end up with, okay? it off. I may have to go back and please don't, please don't judge me by my, uh, my craft skills. You could also add some beautiful pony beads if you want, if you want to make your, your pouch a little more ornamental. And I would tie these so that they don't, they don't fall off. And over time, as you continue to use your, use your pouch, It'll get softer, smoother, It'll be nice and strong to carry whatever you need to carry in it. In the forest with young children, um, we, um, when we visit with, uh, with family space, we traditionally have been, been using uh, birdseed. Just um, whatever you want to use to give your form of thanks to Mother Nature for the gifts that she provides us with. Thank you.